Hey chicas, how is everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing great. Today we're gonna be working on this Freddy Krueger set. I hope you guys like and enjoy it, so let's begin. Right here, I already had my nails shaped to a almond shape. Um, I really wanted to make the shape today just because I've been doing a lot of like squeletto, um, stiletto, and also a lot of coffin. Um, most of it I've been doing a lot of stiletto nails just because I think stiletto goes with Halloween <laughs> uh, so I just wanted something a little different and something a little shorter because usually I do my designs super long so that you guys can actually see everything that I'm doing on the nail so yeah anyway right here I'm just gonna be applying this black this is a black that I always show you guys on my videos. It's the Queen Nails Black. I get that through eBay. Um, I'm just going to be applying it on the pinky finger and on the middle finger. And I'm trying not to touch any of my skin or let it run to my cuticles. Because if it does, it's going to create a huge mess. Um, black is very messy to work with. So just be careful whenever you're applying this color. So now right here on the ring finger, I'm going to be applying this like wine color. I made it myself. I mixed red and black and um, this is the color that I got. <laughs> so I, I do love this color. It's more of like a fallish color. I really like it and um, I, it's just going to go on the ring finger like I said and on the thumb. I didn't know what I was going to do on the thumb. So I'm like, okay, fine, well, I'm just going to put this wine color on my thumb since I already have two black. And then we're also going to be doing the Freddy Krueger sweater. So, yeah, I'm just going to be applying this color on this finger right here on this fingernail. And this is a pretty messy color to work with too, guys, just because it's highly, highly pigmented. Most I use, mostly I used glam and glitz colors that's why they are this this oh my god that's why it's very pigmented you know glam and glitz is their colors are super super pigmented so that's that's the acrylics that i use to create this color and you guys really need to be careful when working with super pigmented colors because you will create a huge mess on your nails and we want to be as neat and clean as possible so that our our work looks super neat after we're done so yes right here i'm just going to be creating the freddy krueger sweater this is a green by me a secret it's from their i think it's jungle collection i know it's called jungle or something or rainforest I don't remember guys I truly don't remember and I totally forgot to film the acrylics that I was using but I will link the um, the collection that it comes in because it comes in a collection of six different shades so I'm just gonna be a put I'm just gonna be putting it on the cuticle area of the nail and then with my little knife this knife has it, it it won't cut or anything guys don't worry so I just went ahead and cut it down and then I went in with my wine color the one that I placed applied I'm sorry on the on the ring finger and I'm gonna be doing the same just you know Freddy Krueger sweater is green and red so we're just gonna be trying to create that sweater on this index finger and i'm trying to be careful guys while i'm putting those colors because i don't want to get it um on top of the other color that we had just placed down so i'm just going to be doing the same thing guys placing down the color cutting it down placing down the other color cutting it down with my knife and so on and so forth so i'm going to let you guys watch this part and i'll come back right now Thank you. 
Alrighty, chicas, once we're almost to the end, towards the end of the nail, I'm not going to be using my X-Acto knife any longer. I'm just going to be trying to do those um, cuts with my brush. It's not that hard. You just kind of eyeball it, kind of. <laughs> and um, I'm just going to be doing it with my brush, kind of tapping it in there in place. And then I'm going to go in with the next color. And the same thing, guys, just using your brush. It's nothing hard and nothing out of this world. Don't worry. <laughs> um, so, yeah. After this, I'm just going to go ahead and cap my nails. I'm just going to be using my NSI acrylic, uh, crystal clear, and monomer. I'm also using my number 10 brush by Nail Supply Glamour. So once we have capped these nails, I shaped and buffed all my nails. We're going to be using painting gel. This is a red painting gel and a striping brush to create those like um, marks or the slashes or whatever it is that he does to his victims um, with his razor glove. So we're going to create those um those marks um, on the pinky finger and on the middle finger and then on the ring finger we are going to write down don't don't fall asleep I'm sorry I had forgotten <laughs> don't fall asleep and it was a little bit hard but not too hard guys I'm sure anybody could do it it's not that hard super simple so I'm just gonna be writing these um, words down and I'm using a white painting gel I'm also curing everything for a minute in my lamp and asleep I accidentally deleted that clip guys I am so sorry um, I don't know what I was thinking but I did but I left this for you guys <laughs> I am so sorry honestly but here is all done and I thought it wasn't gonna fit guys but it actually did that's why it's a little tinier than the rest of the words. A little smaller. I know it looks a little awkward, but you know, you get the picture, right? <laughs> okay, so now we're just going to be applying our diamond top coat by Nail Supply Glamour. And you guys don't have to use this. You guys don't have to use any of the acrylics or products that I'm using you guys can use whatever you have on hand whatever you work with it does not matter guys you work with what you have so yeah I'm just gonna be applying a thin coat on all of my nails and I'm gonna be curing it for a minute a minute and a half at the most and we are done the only thing that I did at the at the end is add a little bit of cuticle oil to rehydrate our cuticles and that is it you guys I freaking love this set I am in love even though it's super simple and I don't freehand like I said. But I do like it. I, I do do like it like a lot. I wish I could keep it on. But I can't because I have to um, film for you guys every single day. Every single day. So I got to use my hand to film. So I am so sorry about that. Um, but yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new. See you guys tomorrow on a brand new video. Thanks for being here. Give me a big thumbs up. See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.